Good morning. This is Adrian, one of the pastors at Twin Lakes Church, joining you for today's uh, Devo. Have you ever felt like, um, they call it imposter syndrome, have you ever felt that? Where you feel like if people only knew how inadequate or unprepared or um, not right for something I am, um, I know I feel that all the time. And um, I think, gosh, I... I don't know that I can do this or that I should be doing this or isn't there somebody else more qualified? And um, maybe you feel that way. Um, I was having a conversation this past weekend with someone who um, has the opportunity to to talk to somebody about Jesus, basically. Uh, somebody approached them and um, was like, hey, you know, I have questions about Jesus and they hit it off and... Um, when I spoke to this person, she said, I'm not, you know, I didn't go to seminary and I don't know that I'm qualified. And uh, myself and another person were telling her, you know, you don't have to have gone to seminary. You are in this position. You are in this place right now and had this interaction and this conversation and this opportunity because God wants you to be there. And, um, you know, she was encouraged by that. I'm sure she was a little scared. But I, I want to encourage you with that same thing. You know, I, I don't know where you're at or what God is calling you to, but he does call us to something. He calls us to this life uh, to live um, after him, which is a calling where God calls us to this new life, um, following him and his ways. And he's going to present you with options, with opportunities um, to serve him in different ways. And you might think, why me? I'm not a pastor or a volunteer or, or I haven't done anything. What, well, how can God use me? Um, but God, so many times when you read scripture, uses the most unlikely people. Um, I was reading in Esther recently. And if you haven't read this book, it's really cool. I think it's nine chapters. It just takes it's a really short book and you can finish it in one sitting, which I would encourage you to do because it's an amazing story. Um, but in the middle of this book, we have Esther, who, through all these crazy events, <laughs> saves Israel, basically, um, while they're in captivity. And she has these doubts about, you know, what she's going to do. And not only because she feels inadequate, but, you know, she, she's putting herself in danger. And should she be doing this? And um, Mordecai, her uncle, who um, is encouraging her to to save her people, um, says this, this is in, um, Esther chapter four, verse, uh, 14. It says, for if you keep silent at such a time as this relief and deliverance will rise for the Jews from another quarter, but you and your father's family will perish. Who knows? Perhaps you have come to royal dignity for just such a time as this, you know, Mordecai was telling her that, you know, who knows, I think maybe you are in this place, in this position, with this opportunity for this time. And I wanna encourage you, wherever you are, don't think that God can't use you for whatever reason. He loves you and he empowers you with his Holy Spirit when you place your faith and trust in Jesus to do all that he calls you to do. And so you can have confidence in that. He's not only gracious in his salvation of us, but even in his calling, he gives us graciously the power and strength and the ability to do it. Be encouraged with that. Take those opportunities, maybe today, to follow him. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.